Hi everyone, Gridlock Cosplay here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add the gearbox adapter for high-speed motors onto the Strandbeast model. The first thing that you want to do is check to make sure that your piece is printed properly, like so. Now, it is going to be a little bit sloppy in there because uh, having to print this vertically, the, the uh, holes aren't always exactly right. Uh, however, once you put the tiny gear inside there, it does tighten it up a bit more. Now, one thing that I've found is that uh, because they're printed to be exactly the same size, it will be almost too tight to be able to get in. So, take a little bit of sandpaper, if it is, you know, check first, of course. It can also help to uh, put a little bit of a, a tapered edge onto the end of the axle here, just to help it get in initially. Another thing you might want to do is take an X-Acto knife and cut out a tiny bit of the triangle. It is a little bit too long, but uh, it might fit on yours, but you might want to just, just shave a little bit of it off there. So you may want to give it a little bit of a test to make sure that it does actually fit. Don't push it on too far because it is very difficult to get, uh, to get apart again once you put it on. So. Let's start attaching it to the Stradbeast. On my previous video, I had indicated that you would need to put this adapter in before locking down the, uh, the crankshaft. But it so happens that the model works with the gear already in. So you just bring it up through the bottom and it snaps right into place. There's a flange on the bottom to keep it uh, going too far. And then the tricky part is getting the gear and the axle in here, uh, you know, lining it all up and being able to, to get it in while it is in there. Now what happened there is I pushed it a little bit too far, but that should work anyway. Uh, it's uh, a few millimeters away from there so that the gear on the motor has enough room. Now, you, uh, what you'll want to do is take this gear and you might need to fill in the hole. It's a pretty small hole, but uh, resize it for however big your motor is. And then, which side am I working on? Then you can place your motor on either side of the gear, like so. Now, it just so happens that it fits really, really nicely here. But, you can go on either side, and then you can, well, you have a couple of options. You can either glue it down, which is the easiest one, or you can 3D print your own bracket for your motor that will fit in here. So once you've gotten everything into place, you may want to tack it down with a little bit of glue just so that the whole gearbox doesn't slide down and add extra pressure onto the gears. Uh, you might even notice it start to get noisy if it does that. So after that, you got to use your imagination for what else you're going to add onto here because there's a beautiful ledge here that you could print something else to snap on a bracket for, I don't know, other sensors or LED headlights. You could extend the platform, all sorts of different things. And I want to see what you guys build. So leave a comment uh, with a link to your video maybe. And uh, yeah, have fun with it guys. Thank you very much for watching. See you all later.